Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we will continue our discussion with uh, the topic of sensors, transducers and instrumentation. And in the previous uh, series of videos, we discussed about thermal radiation measurement uh, with the help of pyrometers. We discussed some basic concepts related to pyrometers and some uh, basic pyrometer setup for measurement of thermal radiation. So, in the next series of videos, we will discuss some basic concepts related to humidity measurement. Okay? So, humidity measurement we will discuss about. So, first we will discuss some basic concepts related to humidity, moisture level and how to measure it and then we will discuss about various types of setup which is basically called as uh, hygrometers for measurement of humidity. Okay, so <clears throat> first, what is humidity? So, in simple terms, it is the measure of water vapor present in a substance, okay, in a gas or something. So, it is measured in terms of uh, various kinds of parameters such as absolute humidity, specific humidity relative humidity dew point but most importantly uh, relative humidity is the important parameter when it comes into play uh, related to sensors and transducers so most of the output of sensors and transducers is with respect to relative humidity okay so now so as i said there are different ways of measuring humidity so absolute humidity is the mass of water vapor present in per unit volume in a substance okay okay it is the mass of water vapor present per unit volume in a substance so it is expressed in grams per cubic meter how much of water vapor is present in total divided by the total volume of the substance this is absolute humidity then we have specific humidity so this is the ratio between the mass of water vapor present in a sample of moist gas or substance divided by the mass of the entire sample so the mass of water vapor divided by the mass of the substance okay or the mass of the gas or whatever it is so the amount of water vapor the mass of water vapor divided by the mass of the total mass of the substance that is specific humidity then we have is the relative humidity okay so the relative humidity is very important as i said most of the sensors are hygrometer setup they are calibrated in terms of relative humidity okay they give output in terms of relative humidity so this is uh, the ratio between the water vapor in a given volume of gas or substance divided by the amount of water vapor required for saturation okay saturation means the maximum water vapor which the substance can hold in a given volume at a given temperature so we can say relative humidity is the ratio between the water vapor content in a given volume of gas divided by the maximum water vapor holding capacity in the same volume at a particular temperature okay so water vapor which is there present in that given volume of the substance and the maximum water vapor uh, holding capacity the maximum water vapor which the volume of substance or gas can hold at a given temperature so that is relative humidity next we have is dew point so dew point is the temperature at which saturation of the gas or substance takes place with water vapor okay so the temperature at which the water vapor content in the substance becomes maximum that is called as dew point so here the thermodynamic para parameters pressure volume temperature also come into play but we are not going into that so simply you remember that humidity is the amount of water vapor present 
in a given substance there are different ways absolute humidity mass per unit volume of a substance the water vapor then specific humidity the mass of the water vapor to the total mass of the substance then relative humidity the mass of water vapor present currently and the maximum water vapor holding capacity at a given temperature in the same volume and then the dew point the temperature at which saturation of the substance takes place with water vapor now so humidity uh, measurement why is it required now there are different uh, applications in different industrial setups where humidity is a key factor there are various uh, factors that are important such as pressure temperature humidity uh, volume there are different uh, parameters which are required to be measured for example in the electronic industry food processing industry and various other industrial setups uh, the pressure temperature moisture levels they have to be maintained at a particular level and it must be ensured that these uh, the values of these parameters they do not cross uh, they do not go above or below certain fixed levels so for that humidity monitoring is required so the instrument or device which helps in the measurement of humidity is called as hygrometer okay it is used to measure humidity now as i said the output of the hygrometer can be in terms of absolute humidity or relative humidity but most of the time it is given in terms of relative humidity that is mass of water vapor currently present in a given volume of a gas or any other substance to the maximum water vapor holding capacity of that same volume of the substance at one constant temperature so most of the time you will find uh, relative humidity the output you will get in terms of relative humidity so it is given in terms of percentage that is divided into 100 into 100 and it is given in terms of percentage okay so there are different types of uh, hygrometers uh, there are many types of hygrometers but mostly uh, the commonly used hygrometer setup uh, are in terms of uh, resistive parameters resistive uh, properties are used the resistive hygrometer then capacitive hygrometer and piezoelectric hygrometer apart from that there are other hygrometer setups such as, such as hair hygrometers then other hygrometer setups are there but mostly we'll find uh, these three types of hygrometers okay so we'll discuss them one by one okay so let us start with resistive hygrometer so we discuss some basic concepts related to humidity measurement the different ways of uh, measuring humidity and uh, about hygrometers so there are many types of hygrometer setup uh, based on different properties of substances so here we are going to discuss about resistive hygrometers okay so it is obvious that the property which we are going to use here is resistance change with respect to moisture level or humidity level okay so the basic setup the construction of resistive hygrometer the main element which is the sensing element here is lithium chloride okay so the property of lithium chloride is it exhibits change in resistance when it is exposed to a moist environment uh, to moisture levels so that is the main sensing element so then we have electrodes with uh, lithium chloride coating the main sensing element then in order to convert the change of resistance into suitable voltage or current levels we can use wheatstone bridge or voltage divider which is basically the signal conditioning circuit so it will include ac or dc supply but mostly you will find ac supply and a suitable display element okay so this is the basic setup of a resistive hygrometer 
so basically it looks something like this so we have the lithium chloride electrodes which are connected in this way to the base and we have two lead wires taken from this and when the setup is placed in an environment where moisture level or humidity level is to be measured the moisture when it comes in contact with lithium chloride it exhibits a change in resistance okay so the resistance of the electrode coated with lithium chloride it varies with the change in the humidity level present in the surrounding environment okay so we know that uh, resistance of a material is given by r is equal to rho l by a rho is the resistivity l is length a is cross sectional area so here the resistivity of the electrode it changes with respect to the moisture levels so again as i said relative humidity comes into play here so if the relative humidity is high lithium chloride will absorb more moisture and the resistance will decrease so more the humidity less the resistance okay and uh, when humidity decreases resistance increases so there is an opposite relationship between humidity that is relative humidity and resistance or resistivity okay and uh, for uh, a uh, total range 0 to 100% measurement of relative humidity the range of variation of uh, the resistance in lithium chloride is of the order of 10 to the power 4 to 10 to the power 9 ohms okay so in dry state when moisture is low lithium chloride has high resistance values and when moisture increases humidity increases the resistance drops considerably so this whole uh, setup the lithium chloride setup which is based on change of resistance can be converted into suitable voltage output voltage level with the help of wheatstone bridge or voltage divider circuitry where one of the arms of the wheatstone bridge consists of the uh, LICL electrode or here also one of uh, the resistors involves the sensor resistance and voltage divider okay so then uh, we can use further signal conditioning circuitry for amplification uh, filtering of any noise or unwanted interference components and give the output in display so this is the basic concept related to uh, resistive hygrometer which is the uh, lithium chloride electrode sensing element so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much